y'all. It is Hope at Crafty Hope here, and today I'm participating in the You, Me, Same Three Challenge from Michelle of Mickleney and Tiffany of Southern Gals Designs. I'm going to have links to their videos below, along with any of the other participants that are sharing what they made with these three pieces. Now, Michelle sent us our uh, ingredients for this month's challenge. And they are, I'll show you here in a second, they are a, um, that's a layaway tag, a playing card of some kind, and a card that says 10 cents from the Tennessee Biscuit Company. Now, I really struggled with these three. M Michelle had me befuddled because all three of them are some kind of like thicker card-like material. And so I really had a hard time coming up with what I was going to do. And instead of, um, Tiffany suggested last time I participated that I uh, just do things intuitively and start throwing things at a page. But the minute I saw them, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I thought about it for a minute and I am coming back in with some masking tape. That layaway tag has perforations up there at the top and toward the bottom and I wanted to like reinforce them a little bit and give them some stability. So I'm doing masking, using masking tape to do that. Um, once I got that on there, I am going to push back some of the writing that's on there using, what is that? It's gesso. It's Liquitex Basics gesso. And I'm just using a palette knife to spread it out normally. I use a paintbrush, but I wanted this to have a little bit of texture. So, um, and this challenge is always a little fun and it's gives me a chance to kind of push my limits and try new things. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm also testing out a few different materials and I'm going to have a massive breakdown in the middle of this. <laughs> I, um, one of the components I end up really not liking and, um, We'll talk about it when we get there. But for now, we're going to focus on this luggage. Not look, I keep wanting to call it a luggage tag. It's a layaway tag. And um, so, yeah. And look at me. I'm trying to add texture. Then I realized I didn't. Anyway, I got that gesso on both sides. I'm coming in with, this is Lucas Acrylic Paint in Fern. It is a lovely chartreuse yellow-green color. I have been obsessed with putting yellow in things lately, and when I started this challenge, I was like, oh, I'll do yellow, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do yellow, let's do something else, um, green, um, and so I'm going with yellow green, I guess, I, um, yeah, yeah, I think it has something to do with spring and everything that's blooming around here, and that's kind of the direction I took this whole tag was spring, and, um, yeah, I keep saying and, uh, but sorry. So I'm going to break up my fern color a little bit with some washi tape. This is a, uh, it's a tape I really like. I got it at the Target dollar bins some time ago. I like the first one so much that I went back and got, um, a second one. So I think I have two rolls of that one. And then this is some, I've got two rolls of Tim Holtz tissue tape there. I love the stuff, y'all, but it's so thin um, because it is tissue tape and it sticks to itself a lot more than anything else that sometimes I struggle with it. It tears, but it's gorgeous. So I've got one, this roll that you see, it, it just, it just wants to shred on me. Um, but the other roll works great. I don't know what it is. So anyway, I am laying down these tapes as just some texture in the background. And I really, really love how they end up looking. They, um, something about that just black and transparentness of it just gives it, lets your eye move around the page or something. It, it, yeah, it's good. I like it. It, it works. <laughs> So, I'm going to get this all down and then come in with a couple of different shades of other greens. One of them is an Americana, and I think it's Irish Moss. Um, yes. And so that's what I'm starting with is the Americana Irish Moss and a stencil. Y'all, this stencil. Let me tell you about the stencil. I'm going to have it in my thrifty haul video for April. 
but it is a stencil I found at the Dollar General. I went in there one day and they had a bunch of their craft supply stuff on sale 50% off, like half off craft supplies. I, yeah, I stood there and stared at every single thing that they had 50% off and these stencils were there. And I don't know how I've never noticed that the Dollar General had stencils but um, there were two different kinds, and this one had this really pretty botanical stencil in it. There were actually four different stencil sheets, and this was one of them, and I bought it just for this single stencil <laughs> that was on it. Um, and so I'm using it, I'm breaking it out, and I, yeah, it works beautifully for me, for my 50 cents. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm... So thrifty, y'all. All right, the second green I'm putting down is light green, and it's from Master's Touch, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. So I will have links to some of my products below, the things I can link to in um, on Amazon, everything else. I'll try to list at least and tell you where I got it. So this stencil you may not be able to find at your Dollar General because it was clearance. All right, once I get my layers of stencil down, I am taking where that bottom perforation was and bending it up. And I'm going to go ahead and roll it over to the back and brayer down some more of that fern green just to get there. But I'm not going to add the stencils because I want, I want a little separation between what's the pocket and what's the, the background. All right, now I'm starting on these two cards. The first one is the biscuit card. And all I'm going to do is cover it with some dictionary paper. I have a thing for dictionary paper. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I was able to pick up so many dictionaries and I need to use all the paper in them. Or if it's my um, fondness for the uh, written word. But I, um, yeah dictionary paper has to go on almost every project and it's not intentional it it just happens it just it just happens <laughs> so I'm gonna glue that down and then put a little more of the gesso on it just to kind of push the print back and give it a blank surface y'all I have to tell you that that whole dictionary paper with gesso on it is how I package a lot of my jewelry so if you get jewelry from me it's probably got some dictionary paper with gesso on it <laughs> so somehow it worked its way into this so yeah it's I don't know I think I was on auto drive what do you call that cruise control <laughs> there so went with that um this other card, um, we're going to end up skipping most of what I do to that until the end. Um, but I took that card with the dictionary paper and marked where I wanted it to sit on the playing card because I knew I wanted it to be like a pull tab on the playing card. So I marked where I wanted it to sit and then used my roll of masking tape um, to make a little arc on it so it would have kind of a neat shape. All right, y'all, so there's that playing card. Um, I'm not done with it there, but at this point I knew it was coming into disaster area. But I'm going ahead with my Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain and inking the edges of my tag and then that little pull tab. And then I'm going to take that pull tab and glue it down with some matte gel medium onto my playing card. And I'm going to use... Uh, some clothespins as like to hold it down until it um, until that glue dries all right and then I went to my sewing machine once the glue was dry and sewed that pull tab on there and then sewed up the sides of the pockets to make that tag a pocket then let's see what am I doing here I am going to take that waste that I cut off the biscuit card and ink the edges of it because I didn't think I was going to use it, but then all of a sudden it hit me that I could use it as a decoration on the front of my pocket. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm inking up the edges. Um, you see me slowing down there. I think I got some green paint somehow on that um, cosmetic sponge. And um, that uh, walnut stain was looking awful green, but 
whatever it, it goes with the card everything's green <laughs> so I'm gonna take a sharpie here and do some handwriting onto the front of this uh, little I don't, I don't even want to call this this tag that I've made and I'm writing spring on it and then I'm gonna do has sprung on the playing card but I'm gonna have to fix it in a minute so y'all see that card up there it is awful it is ugly <laughs> um I was gonna keep it in here and show y'all everything I did to it but then I decided y'all don't need to see how I made it ugly but I am gonna show you how I fix the ugly so you see I did add has sprung on it as well um but we're going to go ahead and just glue on that other card onto the front of my pocket with my matte medium. And again, I'm bringing in those clothespins. I love me some clothespins, y'all. They are so versatile. I use them for everything. They're, <laughs> they're great to just hold something down while I'm working on something else. Now, I had these flowers, y'all. I've had these flowers for I don't even know how long. And I decided to use them on this card to add some flowers onto this 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 card, I guess. Um, and so I'm putting it up on the top of that pull tag using some E6000 because the sticky wasn't working on the back of it. All right, so here is where I'm coming in and trying to fix that card. Y'all don't know how many different ways I tried to fix that card, but finally I was like, look... I'm just going to gesso over it and that's what I do. I think I put about three layers of gesso on it and um, that'll give me a nice blank slate to work with. So I wanted y'all to see if something messes up, you can fix it. Gesso over it, um, work it into something else, tear it up, use it some other way. Um, you can fix it. It, you know, and if all else fails, it's just a, um, it's just paper. Tiffany says that all the time. It's just paper. Don't worry about it. But I'm, um, I knew I had to use that playing card, so I couldn't tear it up. So I gessoed it and I'm coming back with my fern acrylic paint and my stencil that I got from the Dollar General. And I'm just making me a pretty little card here. And so I am going to get the stencil down and let it dry and what else? I want to tell y'all that I've never made a tag like this before with a pocket or anything. I've, um, you know, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I think I might just turn it into a wall hanging somehow. Um, because I really like how it turned out. Alright, so I want to add the has sprung on this card. So I start with the Sharpie like I did on the little pocket. But the Sharpie ends up not working I'm not sure if the gesso wasn't completely dry or what. So instead, I'm going to come in with a black fine liner and just write it like that. It just, <laughs> yeah, and be done with it. Because at this point, y'all, I had struggled with that card for so long and was so frustrated with it. And really, I knew that less is more. And I kept trying to make more be more with the other version of this card. So, yeah, um. <laughs> this has definitely worked much better than the other version. I wanted to use all the things on the other version, and I really just needed to keep it simple. Once that fine liner had dried, I went ahead and inked the edges of this card with that same walnut stain distress oxide. And then I've got a couple pieces of, well, I've got a fabric ribbon that I made um, by tearing up some fabric and using some spray inks on it. And then I've got some chartreuse embroidery floss. So I'm going to cut that... Um, what did I call it? Fabric ribbon down. And then I cut about three lengths of the chartreuse embroidery floss. And I'm going to try, well, I'm going to try to feed them through the little hole in the tag, but that doesn't work. So I'm going to use some purple embroidery floss that just, you know, just happens to be on my desk <laughs> and use it to help feed that through that hole up there. And then that will complete my card, y'all. This was, um, like I said, I cut out a lot of the struggle of it for y'all because there was no reason y'all needed to see that. I had it in there initially and decided I didn't like watching it. Why would I make you watch it? So, um, yeah. So if you did like this, I would really appreciate that thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't. 
and leave me any comments below if you have any questions. I'd love to know or be able to help you um, in any way I can. All right, y'all, make sure you go watch Tiffany's video and Michelle's video and the rest of the participants. I'll have those links below and keep on crafting on. Thanks for watching. Bye.